Ian. What's your last name? I can't pronounce your last name. Cresic. So, Ian Cresic. We're at Drago Central, downtown. And I came to interview Celestino, but Celestino said I can't do it. I've had too much food. Exactly. Because what did you prepare tonight? Well, today was our first actual um, barbecue in the vault room. So it's our private dining room. We actually tried to do a summer barbecue with a few different Italian dishes, uh, our style, of course. And we tried well, to. Well, your style, because I came barbecue, I said I was going to wear shorts and you know flip flops and my baseball cap on. For some reason, I put a dress at the last second, and that was not a barbecue. That was like an upscale version of. Well, yeah. our, our style of barbecue yeah, is a little style, different yeah. than, mo than most people, but we had a little unusual menu for people, but we wanted to give them an uh, interpretation of what the restaurant uh, is all about. So you did, there was some antipasti when we got into it. Yeah, that, that so we, we had a, a very casual format. We did um, antipasti uh, buffet style, and then we did pastas. Yeah, well, um, what was that here on the, on the buffet uh, antipasti well, style? Uh, the, the leftover <laughs> is uh, a little testa terrine, so it's the head and the feet of a pig, a yeah. suckling pig. So, actually so that's what's left right over. And so, then, so we had the whole menu, and the whole menu you was... You did have the yeah, whole menu. It was, so we had um, six different pastas and eight different meats, um, well, a few I, different seafoods. Uh, and a little uh, ice cream for dessert. So seafood was uh, scallop and salmon and swordfish. swordfish. Yeah. Um, and then and then some of the meats so, were like this chicken that's here. Yeah. So we did all the meats whole. So we tried to make it uh, not really family style, but we had whole items that we would carve at the table side in the vault and plate individually. So we did whole roasted chicken, a uh, head on, feet on. We did this whole suckling pigs. Uh, we did the whole baby goat. Um, we did a lamb leg. Uh, we did a few items. Don't forget the sausage because the we, sausage. So. I, there was a point of time this chicken came with farro and mozzarella, smoked mozzarella uh, sauce. And it was like everything was good. That might be the little like the better one, but then the sausage came and sausage was like yeah, homemade. Well, yeah, homemade yeah. sausage. We took uh, Celestino's uh, grandma's secret recipe. We make some uh, sausages here in house, and we cook those up for you with a little bit of uh, smoked hollandaise sauce. So. You know, that's, then, that's my favorite. So you keep saying the vault chest, you know, why don't you just come to say hello, you're here. I know Chef, you're, come on yeah. over. Chef, come on in. So, oh, and that was good too. What, what was that's that? That's a pork chow, so yeah. it's guanciale, so it's the, the kind of the cheek of the, uh, of so the pig. So, whose idea was this to do this, 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 uh... Chef in. Okay, yeah, the good one. So you keep saying the vault, what is the, the vault? vault? The vault is a private dining room at Drago Centro downtown. It holds 42 people. No, but where does the name come from? The vault comes from, it used to be the Bank of America vault. So all the walls, the ceiling, three feet of solid concrete, and we do all the cooking for you in front of you. So it was very interactive today where people could come up and grab a plate and kind of mingle with the other guests. So once, you need to redo that again. It can't be like, you know, we're celebrating summer next week. But you can't do that only one time. We're gonna talk about. We're, we're gonna, gonna work out the I'm other days. Sure and then we yeah. talk about the dessert. The dessert was it was ice cream, rhubarb, tomato, um, tiramisu, tiramisu, marzipan, apricot. Apricot. So we just did a few summer flavors of sorbet, gelato, all stuff that we're working on. Um, we're going to start making them at the bakery and, and distributing out to other restaurants. But of course, we make everything in house at the restaurant here. So. And then, and then all, you know, there's like this huge plate of ice cream that came, and I've had so much food. My guest said, I can't go to that plate anymore. And we're done in like two minutes. He said, Well, I think we could have had another one. See? <laughs> it was, well, it, well, there you go. You know, we wanted to end the night on a nice light note, and that's the best way to do it a little sorbet, a little gelato. We don't believe in being getting desserts after a meal like this. You know, I, I, Call barbecue, call Italian feast, call big abufada, the grande abufada, you know, like the big night. <laughs> like one buffet then, <laughs> yeah, right? then you yeah. need the little ice cream. Yeah, it was Something great. to kind of... And then, you know, you know, if you were to redo that, people would ask, they have to know it's a $50 charge and you, you can eat as much as you can, Exactly. Right? We, we didn't advertise it as all you can eat, but it is definitely all you can eat. So most everyone was taking full advantage of that tonight, yeah. coming back seconds and three times for the same dish. Uh, we're right. gonna, we're, uh, we're, we're going to do the food the, toast the tomorrow. The, the chicken I did twice. There, I, I, there you I, go. I there you go. Yeah, so we made it really affordable, just trying to bring people downtown, downtown on a Sunday night, having a good time, really, really Which enjoying themselves. Okay. Thank you, Chef. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.